Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Today's topic is split bus electrical panels. So what makes a split bus electrical panel different from a traditional panel is that you don't have a single circuit breaker. You actually might have up to six of them. And that's in accordance with the National Electrical Code that allows up to six hand movements to shut off power. These panels were allowed between 1965 and 1981. The 1981 NEC no longer allowed these. But panels installed in that time period were allowed to have split buses. And so how, how does that work exactly? Well, let's take a look at one. I've got one sitting in my garage. I brought it inside here and we'll, uh, we'll take a closer look at it. These two lugs here supply power to these six breakers. Now I said six, there's only five here, but there's room for one more 240 volt breaker at the top. And you can have up to six. So these here are going to supply power to individual 240 volt appliances, while this breaker here supplies power to the other half of the panel, the other side of the bus. That's why they call it a split bus. You've got one bus here, it separates, and then you have another bus at the bottom half of the panel. So the, the bottom half, those are the, your 120 volt lighting and appliance circuits. And you shut off power to this or just disconnect these, these wires from this cir circuit breaker and you'll have no power to the bottom half. So to shut off power to the entire house, we flip off all of these breakers. Now all the power to the house would be off. Now from 1965 up until 1978, the only way that it could be done was with 240 volt circuit breakers as mains. But then from 1978 until 1981, the last three years, the last code cycle where split bus panels were allowed, you were actually allowed to have 120 volt circuit breakers in those spots. So there was a short, short period of time where that was acceptable. And after 1981, they said, no more split bus panels, period. So when we find these electrical panels on older homes, what do we say from a home inspection perspective? Not much. We just explain how they work. We say that you don't have a single shutoff to turn off all the power in the home. You may have several breakers you need to turn off if you want to shut off all the power. And that's it. These things don't present any type of hazard. You just need to understand how they work. Thanks for watching.